Don't have to wait long, do we? GG oh, bar right. are as close as they get. Yeah, I think that's justifiable. And well, Flamey with the dualies. Double kill at the top of Banana. Flashed him for a bit more. And Arcadian does deal with him. That is a very convincing start here for Na'Vi. <laughs> this is, uh, is going to be interesting. Perfecto makes first contact. Now they know he's here and he's seen the man in Boiler as well. Simple there to help him out, but does get dropped after one. This is where Electronic swings out from down underneath the patio. The nade is good for Electronic and even more coming his way. It falls to Stown in a one on two who has at least got that trade and secured the A site. Can now get this bomb down, right? But. On V2, Boomich and Flamey on the other side. Flamey's been having some great games as of late as well for Na'Vi. So this is not the easiest of spots to be in. Now, despite all these guns being down at top mid, no one has traded out here for Na'Vi. They're just looking to take this fight and not oh. give away mm. that position. And now that they deal the killing blow, they retrieve the AWP, they grab the guns from mid. Happy birthday, Sasha. Shout out the number one in the game. Kadian, great BP. Frames caught with Nato. Oh no, he's getting chased. The spray is messy, but Kadian will complete it. And Heroic, a double entry out of nowhere. You always commit to B if you get two picks that fast. Na'Vi might just have to save, but Simple has enticed them back in with that kill through the smoke. No one even moving out of the pits, right? Nico. Uh oh. <laughs> About to get a little warm, but it's uh, cooked to perfecto. It's gonna be in round for heroic. Step in the right direction. Simple hold on to the op. That's the big question. Sees four up, goes for a nose coat. What a mad lad! Almost gets knife too. The all of it taken was a left click right there. Navi's still committing deep inside of A. They know at 30 seconds where it could turn around, but that doesn't look to be the case. It's a B commit. Yeah, need to start to see some of these rotations. Boomich lines up too, and Nico's flash does not help his teammates out. In fact, it blindsides them. Boomich gets a full reload off behind the pillar. Nico, luckily enough, will be there to secure this B site for Heroic. Dessa has yet to put up a kill in this game. Back of the site. Has this crossfire set up with Nico. And he's waiting patiently. He tries to swing on a simple, but he's not missing a beat. And so Tess says, it's all eyes on him. Back of the site, 1v3 needed. Swings on out, but not going to win any awards for that. A simple is there to lock it in. Five on the board yeah. for Na'Vi. Simple's already been showing up in a big way. Back on this A site right now. That's a rogue set of nades. Oh, simple. There's one. Electronic here to help him out. Tries to flick on down. They do get up through short, but Perfecto now playing in tandem with his teammates at this A bomb site. Simple. Ooh. Taking a peek back in. They lose Kadian over here in CT, and this is just a complete and utter shutdown of this short play. Moto Smoke going to go down, but Simple still a threat. Ooh. Jiggle. They get one shot out of what? him, and how is that only a leg? Oh, he's got legs where his nipples are. And now Kadian falling. Electronic down in the pit, having to try and do all of this oh, single-handedly. And he has done a lot of damage, dropping the bomb. Electronic on a tear. And almost another does finally get dealt with, but Flamey was able to trade that out and it's left us down in a 1v2. This is a repeat of one of these early rounds in the half with Stown once again having to clutch it out versus these two B rotators. Holding for the long peak from Flamey and does get it, but Boomich could trade here and now. Oh. A quick flick from Stown as this 1v1 almost draw into a close. Two bullets for Stown. He's got to make him count mm. and he can't get away with it. Defuse coming in for Boomich. Right now, Na'Vi on Heroic's pick are dealing them a dirty hand. Perfecto backs up of short and he gets away with his life. More damage done to Borup. And Nico gets picked first. It's simple on the orb back for more. Can't hit the flick, but it's still going to be a man advantage up for Na'Vi with electronics not getting checked. He sprays, he prays, but it's perfecto to bail him out with one. Stown trading again. It's repeat for Stown. He's got to do it this third time as he's left in the clutch versus Flame. He couldn't get it over the line in the previous time, but Flamey going for a different wrap round now. Could Stown play the smoke? The bomb's planted for long. It's going towards the short side, and Flamey could catch him in the open.
This is Stown's fourth pro proper attempt at a 1BX clutch, his third inside of this A site, and finally, oh. he's given an all right chance to win one, but Flamey cancels him out. And Heroica made the perfect call to go back towards A. Perfecto needs to put up a real hold here, and he could just get bypassed. Ooh. It's a one for one, and now the A site falls into heroic hands. This might just be around for the Danes. About time. And and then like you, you think about it even more though, but one of the more interesting things there for me is that Mouse Sports have, have, have bested Astralis in head-to-heads a lot of the time, more so than Astralis have actually won them out. Mouse Sports just seem like kind of the kryptonite to Astralis in that sense. So it's a, it's a very, very weird way that these playoffs have kind of come together, you know, with every team facing someone who's just really good if Na'Vi want to salvage this round, it's a four on four and Electronic needs to make all the difference now into the pit, trying to stay alive, but Kadian hits it on the cross. Simple chiming in with one of his own. The bomb does get into the site, but Simple swinging wide, dealt with by Nico, left into a two on two and Heroic. And no util to get Na'Vi back in and they haven't even figured out these positions yet. Pit site is fairly standard with this crossfire, but Boomich jumping out of a palm as Nico hits the drop and he swings onto him. It's only Perfecto stuck at long. Does he want the money or the round? He's going to give it a go. The time is ticking. He's got the kill. Stown hiding behind the boxes and there's no angle for Perfecto. He's getting danced on from the pillar side and he jumps up. But honestly, the round is already lost and Stown just locks it in with a fourth. Orp will die to the bomb, but it's a round nonetheless for Heroic. Navi with Eagle scares me because they play like they've got nothing to lose. Perfecto. Agro and Apps in with the first. They do run him Whoa. down, but Electronic with the spray down. MP9. And with it, he's dropped the bomb. Now, didn't retrieve any weaponry. And that Molly will force Electronic to drop that smoke. Now they know he's down in the pit. Simple. Smoked off at Moto. Rotations yet to arrive from B, and that's because of Heroic throwing these fakes in at the last moment. So they deal with Simple and Electronic just having to wait, wait for his teammates. They're on a pretty lengthy journey still. He's in with a third. This MP9 has treated Electronic well. It's all left on to Stown in another clutch at the A site. Can he give us the goods or is it gonna be Na'Vi finding 11? It looks like it's the latter as they win this round. I don't know, this one just seems to be floating in front of Heroic. Yeah, it is uh, dangled in front of their eyes, but they're not being allowed to grab it. That's a good change, a good start. Kadian with a nade onto Boomich and follows up with a shot on Simple. Gonna need one hell of a CT comeback in this map. Five alive for Heroic. They've got four deep over on the A site. Good luck, Tommy. See you later, dude. Nico with two. Ooh, yeah. a couple taps there. Makes it look good, Harry. Yeah, he does, and all, perfecto. All right, let's see, what can he do? Well, now they know where the perfecto can be found, and Tess says there's no issue finding him. Yeah, but we've seen these pistols from Na'Vi, Ooh. and we've seen what they can Ooh, do. Hey. The triple nade down into the pit leaves no room for Nico. Testes might be a little unexpected from this position, and so he's in with two, but that's all he can offer, and Perfecto, a lot of damage, even though he doesn't get away with the kill. If they can't chase him down, that might be reason enough to save. And so that is, that's great from Perfecto, right? He does all that damage and just runs away because he knows that Heroic, look at how much they're hunting down this one kill. And oh, he's still here. He's still drawing them in, but he's kicking right back at them and it's all left on to Borup. Perfecto plays that round just to a T. He does everything right and locks in a 12 for Na'Vi. Swell stuff there from Perfecto. Ooh. Or it might slide out and find simple, but this round is done. It's over. Perfecto is actually going to put that last kill up on the board that does just that. And so they're, they're keen to not give any more of these fights over. This boost from simple might just save the day. As he's given a lineup into CT, deals with Tessez, puts the advantage back in favor of Na'Vi, and they're breathing a bit of sigh of a relief now as simple is here and he's cleaning up. And a gentleman. RV in with 13. And simple, he ain't being gentle, man.
scoped up in the middle. Maybe he just prefers the Krieg. Oh, I don't blame him at this point. Another opening kill from him. Electronics already killed the AWP, and so Na'Vi can just commit out of the apartments. Flamey's dropped. It has been heard. Tessas is stuck in between two. Who do you even want to face at this point? It's simple down, but Tessas still hanging around with a second. Surely gets traded now, and Electronic has done that at least. Na'Vi taking some time on this A approach, and with damage done for the B flankers, even though that gives the position away, it's set Heroic up for a possible, possible winnable round. On Inferno, it is all on the line. This is a must win 2v3. The Molly gonna burn these players out of the site, but hasn't found a kill. The nade to follow up brings them both low. Electronic in with a peek and oh my goodness, how has he done that? See you later. Four in the round, he just finishes the last one off with the Glock. Electronic is having an absolutely unreal game. But they don't know Electronic's there. They use it in the pit, they use it in the site, and then Electronic peeks after all of those grenades are gone. Simple does get tagged down middle. He's onto the Org now, forget the Krieg. He's grabbing CT rifles on his way out, but very low and finished off by the scout. Electronic will trade, of course he will. Keeping up dominant score. Borup is tucked, needs a flash, needs support, but it actually doesn't blind anyone, at least not Boomage. Perfecto backs up and Boomage re-aggresses with two. He was not whitened by the utility and now B belongs to Na'Vi and maybe the map as well. It's starting to feel more and more like the map, especially considering how sick the armament is over here. Kadian's gonna try to take the scout and the shotgun all the way to the B site. And so far, so good. Won't matter, though, when you're retaking solo. <laughs> and yep. This is just utter domination, right, from Na'Vi. Kadian, yeah. yeah, he's gone back for the shotgun. Right, cool. I think he knows that they're screwed as well, right? Like, <laughs> looking at the ground, running in with the auto shot. Here he is. Now, this would be a clutch for the Aegis. Yeah, it would. <laughs> it would. But it ain't going to happen, is it, right? Na'Vi don't even let him get to the site. It's 16 for them as they take the map pick of Heroic. They go 1-0 oh up in this series. And so it's an awkward 5-on-5 five five retake. Now, everyone, everyone loves one of these, but maybe not Boomich. As he's bought out of the round immediately, Simple cannot follow up. So Electronic, you got any more of that frag juice left? Because boy, oh boy, are we going to need some. And he's dishing out high in supply. Tessas on the bomb, finished off by Electronic, who gets off to the start here with three kills in the round for Na'Vi. Group up three inside of B, this flank coming through, Simple running, and he's going to get shot at. AK dropped, another player coming in for the trade. Can Tessas stand tall, Boomich? Oh, he's ducked. Oh, he's on the right side. Tessas doesn't realize he's just bypassed him, grabbing the AK and somehow getting out alive and somehow even taking Boomich with him. I don't know how these Deegs are doing it, but Heroic have yet to lose a frag. Finally traded back by Perfecto, but he is gone as well. That is a beautiful round for Tessas. Yeah, I mean, I, there's so much to talk about, man. I do love it. Like when you reach these playoffs and everything, all like these little history bits all start to matter again in a very, very big way. This round is just a mow down. We can forget about it. It's nice from Nico. It's a nice bit of mid control here for Heroic. But ultimately, oh, hit the body. Right. it's just that nice clean third that Heroic were hoping for. Right now, things are going well. Back in with two, double AWP for Heroic. It's down joining Kadian, who goes towards the connector to stop. Boomich flashed out, and that's a beautiful shot for Kadian. Fully flashed, finds the head of Boomich. Oh, let's see. Do they just slow walk this? And they do into the AWP of Kadian. They're going to be in for a pretty rough time, especially with three here. One of those being Kadian's AWP. They need to cancel it out, and they've got to do it quick because they've given him a lot of freedom here inside of the A site. Nade onto Borup, and it does get followed up onto by Flamey, but a 1v4, he's not even attempting it. He's getting out of there. Ten seconds left to try and save. He hears them running through the ramp, trying to flank Palace. Kadian doesn't get the ace. Flamey, don't give it to him, don't. And he won't. Take B while they can. Stown playing retake. He's got the shot though. Flamey's gone. Stown can't follow up, but he's got time to buy. Tessas with a second bomb dropped. Simple on an entry, but they need far, far more. Electronic and Boomich now really on the first man to do the damage. Boomich has swapped out to a MAC-10. He's so low. Wants to play things up close. Electronic goes back into the apartments, but Boomich naded out on the plant. Can't get the money guarantee for Na'Vi. Electronic in the clutch. Hey, simple. Hold my beer. Electronic going in with it. Looking. Two players in the market. 
and he's creeping up on them now. One up on the shelves, and he's got to reach high. Oh, but he does get it, and oh, a second kill for Electronic as well. He's fully stocked right now as he brings it down to the 1v1. Electronic now with the bow on his back, and I think he just saw Bar up at Cat as well. Getting that bomb planted, retreating back towards the bench and taking wow. the fight. What a round from Electronic, my goodness. You know, they don't have an AWP. And in this round, like, that would have been more valuable to Heroic, who have nothing to show yeah. for it. The one gun already removed. Navi are fine playing rifles against the Nico round, and they're going to start to make it nice, quick, and clean. Boom to middle, rushed by three, but it's only a fan that's dropped at the top of mid. Tessus does grab the gun on the body of Nico, and that's enough for Heroic to throw in the towel to get out alive. And it really does feel like that 1v3 from Electronic has just tipped the scales back in favor of Navi. And he's so hungry for more, wanting to take these guns out the hands of Heroic, but I don't think he's going to get there in time. He waits for that bomb to explode, runs a little bit, but knows that he's not going to get those guns. Bomb elsewhere, stacked up on Awa Heroic after that B info, but now it's come back to fight them. Caught with a nade in hand, Bob wasn't covered, <laughs> and simple doubles down. Beautiful stuff, still a player under about, forced out by the Molly, Nico with another, but there's players dropping in for a bomb. He's going to hold his own. The bombs come back to A, and maybe that could be the undoing of Navi. An MTB bomb site was on the table, but those double kills from Simple entice Navi into the stack. Yeah, look at that. They drop another Molotov oh. underneath the balcony. Quick shot there, quick reaction. On us down. Leaves just Nico perched up. Both these Navi players at about half health, but guess what? Nico is too. They are very weary. They know that he's around here somewhere. It was either lower or it was on top. Oh. Yeah, Katie walked right into that one. Perfecto with the opening frag. Nico with a response now down to a four on four. Nico with another one. Finally, someone stops him. Yeah, look at Stown's AWP, though, over on the catwalk. That could deny the bomb plant. He's Ooh. spamming, and he tagged Simple, but didn't finish the job. Will Ooh. not be able to the second time around. It takes Tessez coming in, and this is Boomich now. 1v3. There are kids. If they get on this bomb, they can just stick it, but they've given him time for the CT wrap, and he's going to play the trigger discipline. Wow. There's a double for Boomich, and now down to the 1v1. Stown arriving late from the catwalk. Smoke on the bomb, trying to bait a peek, and Boomich just runs straight in, looking for Ooh. the fight, but Stown is fast. And we'll lock in the round on the back of that kill. It's six on the board for Heroic. A damn good try from Boomich. Boomish coming up catwalk, watched by Tessens, but here comes the util. More in the favor of Heroic. They do some damaging grenades onto Navi, and Tessens finds the first. Oh, there were two at bench. Perfecto didn't see that, though, and Tessens, another with the orb, just lighting up this B site. Here's the young gun of Tessens, helped out by Stown, and between the two of them, they lock in that round for Heroic. Electronic down in the lower tunnels. Trying to get out into oh. mid, and he saw the barrel. That is the biggest mistake Barab's ever made. He gets deleted. Luckily enough, Kadian and Nico are in with a kill apiece. They've taken short. Flamey, only with the leg, finishes it off the second time around. And so now we're into a two-on-two. Tessez, over at short side, was the undoing of Na'Vi in that last B take. But this time... He's not able to find anything. Perfecto has at least secured the foothold in the site, and he goes one step further. Kadian holding for the cross, but he just misses the timing. And so he's left in a 1v2. This man has had some great moments on the orb, but not in this round. Perfecto gets the better of him. This game, a lot closer. Might not like what he finds, or he might relish in the challenge of this effective 1v3. A little bit closer than he's going to be ready for. And Cadian's opened up onto Electronic elsewhere. That's over in the window. Simple having a fall back and take this more passive angle at short. He is getting rushed Ooh. down and the flash is good. Cadian not only getting two openers, but providing the flash that gets them into B. That is a, a great round from him. Leaving Perfecto and Flamey two on four. They do have a kit at least, but that is the only thing going their way. And Katie, and look at him. He wasn't content with two. He wasn't content with throwing the God Flash. He's now in with a third, and the rap locks in the round for Heroic.
tying things up right away to begin this second half. B is theirs. Only player in the side to stop them is Perfecto. Lumis has used his utility to get out into default as well. And Perfecto is waiting for that fight. He's got it. Now disappearing, hiding in the smoke for a few more seconds. Tess is wrapping the backside. Perfecto with some damage and Porum kills him through the smoke. That is not what Heroic need. Oh, a bit of a calamity inside of B. And Perfecto oh, no. is continuing to put bullets in their face. Three on two. Stan with a reload. They could rush him. They're given the respect, but nowhere to move. The bomb on A. And that's all Heroic have to rely on. Yeah, KD had just, just left him behind, left down to fend for himself inside of that B site. And now, in his sacrifice, KD and not trying to let it be in vain. A 1v3 needed here. Moving into CT, KD and everyone moving in for Na'Vi on this rotation now. And there's the oh. first looking for the follow-up, but the dink from Perfecto, yeah. mid-air of Na'Vi. Eating the Danes at handball now. Oh, it's never been done before, but here it is. There's this double ramp hold, and now here comes the palace push. Will they be ready for Boomich? They deal with Blamey, but Boomich swinging out. In with two of his own. And this A site is anything but home to Heroic right now. Borup, two kills to his name. Has Kadian to fight alongside him, but maybe not for long. Simple. He's seen a leg. That's enticed him with the promise of a kill. And KD, if he goes any further left, <laughs> he is a dead man walking, looking into the site, legged by Simple. They know where KD is, and they're just not going to give him the room. He tries to get fancy <laughs> with it. You can see that Simple, man, he just makes you think you've got to do the most ridiculous stuff. Well, we didn't see Boomich, who did go for a little wiggle. Boomich doesn't have the info either, but could consider this as a possibility. Simple's already picked up Tessa's in mid on the chair too. And so it's only getting worse and worse for Heroic by the second. Whoa, the swing from Boomich. And he is ready for Nico as well, but Nico's going to get the better of him. Opening up a path into the A site and doubling down is Nico. Cadian, meanwhile, sneaking up Cat. Simple is rotated CT. Nico's just hiding out in A. Cadian has dealt with Flamey. But there's the trade from Perfecto. And it's left in a 1v1. A bit of an awkward 1v1. Nico could go anywhere from here, right? With so much time that was left on the clock when this began, Nico can disappear and reappear to his heart's content. Oh. But Perfecto has the perfect read and deals with him in the window. Up against 13. Almost requiring a bomb plant at a bare minimum, but at this point they need rounds. They haven't had one since the pistol, and it's not getting easier. Perfecto so flashed. He still finds one before he departs. Flamey trying to rotate fast, and he has mowed down one with the Yorg. Simple rescoping back up, not letting them escape. And Cadian needs to bring the fight right back. Simple flicks. And there's just no safety for Heroic right now. The best teams in Denmark right now. Or you face Maus, a team that we haven't seen them play yet. Borup winning a fight, and that's a talking point. That's the thing. He's normally someone who's so good at getting these swing kills, the kills that make a difference. And he's been so quiet on this map of Mirage. Ooh. Finally winning one. And nice. Tessas goes on to continue that victory by taking jungle away from Na'Vi. That's going to leave Perfecto out on an island in the B site. And while he does get away with damage, they want to deal with Nico, who's also in this jungle position. It's going to fall to Boomich. Nico moving back towards A. Kadian's even aggressing down through the catwalk. Are they going to try and late rotate A? Deary me, this might give Boomich the 1v1s he was looking for. And Kadian's just dropped oh. in as well. That never should have been an RV round, but it is. As Boomich gets them there, the 1v2 puts match series. What an unbelievable round. It's just flawless. The auto snipers out. This is a mess. Simple on the scar. Electronic push close A. And Cadian's gone. Simple looking to take scalps. And he's spamming right back through the floor. He's going to hit everyone. Two kills for Simple's auto. And it's insult to injury for Heroic. Two deaths away from back to that lower bracket. And Perfecto might make it happen. He's been such a solid anchor in this series. Flashing out on the bench, doing damage down left to find, and he does at least open up a chance to plant. Oh, that's certainly it right there. 23 HP on Stown, and he gets the bomb planted. This would be a miraculous one on three. As Navi start to clinch down on their grip. Map point in sight and practically in hand, unless they lose this. Somehow, some way, Electronic will be there. He's got the last say. That's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. 16 on the board for Navi. They're going to go on to the grand finals of ESL Pro League Season 12. Heroic. Well, they're just going to have to try again another day through the lower bracket.